So I'm sure many of you will be thinking about what, what courses to choose when joining the college. And at post-16 education, uh, you choose three subjects to specialise in. Um, and making that decision can be sometimes quite difficult. And um, I just want to go through a few kind of tips on, on making those, those choices. So the first thing really is to think about your long-term goal um, and your aim um, in terms of your career. If you, if you do have an idea of what you would like to uh, do in a few years time or what you'd like to do at university, then picking A-levels that tie in with that um, is really important. And certain courses at university and certain careers do require you to have certain A-levels. So check, check that, um, speak to your careers advisor at your school, um, research online, and uh, pick the A-levels that, that tally with that, that long-term goal. Second thing to consider is really what are your, what are your strengths, uh, what are your subjects that you're doing really well at, at GCSE, uh, and playing to your strengths, because a lot of your GCSE subjects you can then uh, continue through to, to A-level as, uh, as well. So really playing to your strengths is another consideration that you need to, need to have, as well as enjoyment. You know, if you haven't got a long-term plan, in place at the moment not to worry about it there's plenty of time to to formulate that plan um, and to just think about what are you enjoying uh, both in your GCSE subjects and if there's personal interest that you have uh, because a lot of A-levels at the college will be totally brand new you know subjects such as politics film studies sociology law um, you would not have covered at GCSE and if you're interested in those subjects then uh, that could be uh, an option for you as well to combine with um, some, some other subjects you might have studied at, at GCSE. And then I think the final thing to mention is, is thinking about combinations of subjects that you'd like to, to study as well. Uh, like I said, you can pick three. Uh, you can do a mixture of A-level or, or B-Tech courses. The difference between an A-level or a B-Tech is a B-Tech has more coursework elements. Uh, and therefore, if you feel more comfortable with coursework tasks, rather than um, fully fully examined courses, then BTEC could be an option to, to choose. Um, some of the A-levels have a coursework element, but it tends to be a smaller proportion um, of, the, of the course. So that's a consideration to, to make as well. In the BTEC courses, some are single, some are double. Um, so in, in terms of choosing your three options, in, for example, science and health and social care, um, and IT, you can do a double option uh, where that will take up two of your choices. Um, and that's really for students who are really interested in that particular course, that particular field, they're specialising in that area and they're doing double, uh, double the qualification. So that would only leave room for one other subject if you did pick a double. So that's another consideration to make in those subjects. Do you go for the single? Do you go for the double? Um, and a third thing to think about is do your subjects complement each other? So for example, if you're doing geography A level, um, an A level in statistics would really go well with geography because you're dealing with data uh, and so on. And, and if you're studying psychology A level, then often that goes very well with biology because there's a biopsychology unit. So thinking about how your subjects complement each other, um, and it doesn't always have to be on content, it can be on the skills that you learn uh, as well. So. Uh, for example, English will go well with law because uh, of the written element of those subjects um, and expressing your ideas and evaluating evidence. Uh, the, the skills you learn in English will be very valuable to law and, and, and so on. Um, so it's a tough decision to make. Um, take your time, do the research, lots of information on our website on each course. And if you have any queries, then do get in contact with us. Uh, we'll be able to uh, to answer those. So good luck in choosing your courses and I uh, hope to see you all soon.